Nurse Catherine here. Welcome back to another Educational Tuesday video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the rule of nines, something that you really truly need to know for your NCLEX exam and of course in nursing school. The rule of nines can be tricky sometimes. Sometimes people forget about the back half of the body and they get a little mixed up with the percentages on the front of the body. So that is what we are going to be reviewing today. This is the first part to a burn series we are going to do for this next month. Also, make sure to stay tuned to the end of this video as I'm going to be doing a burn NCLEX style question with you guys. Okay, so the rule of nines. First off, why is it even important to think or to know about the rule of nines. Well, the rule of nines will help you calculate how much fluid your patient with a burn will need, but that is in next week's video. That will be our calculation video. Today, we are only focusing on body surface area that is burned which is also called the rule of nines. On the screen next to me, you will see a body and that will show a figure of the percentages on each body part that equals the 100% of the rule of nines. Each body part has its own body surface area percentage that is burned and we will use these percentages in our calculations. So first, let's start at the top and work our way down. We will start with the head. The head has a total of a 9% body surface area for the rule of nines. But you have to remember that is split in two. You have a front and you have a back of your head, of course. So 4.5% is the front and 4.5% is the back. I did forget to mention the rule of nines is for adult patients only. This is not for your pediatric patients. Next, let's move down to the torso. The front of the torso is total 18%. Flip the patient over and the back is also a total of 18%. So we've done the head, we've done the torso, and we've done the back. Now let's move to the arms. Each arm has a total of 9%. 4.5 of that being the front of the arm, 4.5 of that being the back of the arm. Next, we move down to area and that is the smallest percentage and that's only one percent and lastly we move to the legs the legs again easy to remember we already remembered that 18 percent from the torso each leg is 18 percent nine percent on the front and nine percent on the back okay now that you are all experts on the rule of nines let's dive into an NCLEX styled question here's the question you have a 48 year old female coming into the emergency department with a house fire. The house fire has caused burns to your patient's body. The burns consist of the right anterior leg, left anterior and posterior leg, right anterior and posterior arm, and the posterior side of the head. What percentage of the patient's body has been burned? Okay, so let's walk through this. We know the fire has caused burns to the right anterior side of the leg. Each leg being 18% total, we know the anterior side of the leg is 9%. We know the burns have covered the left anterior and posterior side of the left leg. The left leg being in total 18%. Then it tells us the burns have covered the right arm, anterior and posteriorly. So we know 4.5 is on the front, 4.5 is on the back, totaling 9%. And lastly, we know the burn has covered the posterior side of this patient's head. We know the head in total is also 9%, 4.5 being on the front, 4.5 being on the back. So we can write down 4.5% next. Next, you just add those all together and you come out with the answer of 40.5% of the body surface area of this patient has been burned. And that does it for today's video, guys. I hope you found some educational tips out of this. Don't forget to stay tuned for next Tuesday's week two of burns, and we will actually be doing burn calculations during that video. Other than that, that is it. Have a very blessed week, and I will see you in Saturday's vlog-styled video.